Greetings, people of God. I just want to share very quick something with you, um, something profound that happened. I was um, walking um, in the woods, taking a walk, and suddenly I began to pray in the spirit um, so strong, and um, something happened. And I began to pray stronger and stronger, louder and louder, and I felt a presence. But not only the presence of the Lord, but I felt that evil presence. But the presence of the Lord was upon me. So the more I prayed in the Holy Ghost, and um, the more I prayed and, and walked, the Lord opened my eyes um, to see something. And suddenly I saw evil spirits, you know, like human beings, but these were evil witchcraft spirits, um, which were suddenly, they were left and right. They were um, in a parade. And while I was praying and walking in the midst, and the more I prayed, suddenly something began to happen. And those evil spirits, which were those garments of darkness, evil garment, dark garment, like those people from Ku Klux Klan. So, but they were just, you know, those hoodies, you know, and um, they had that kind of like something, um, yeah, how do you call it, a stick? And all of them suddenly began to bow down one by one, left and right one by one they began the more i began to pray and i walked through the woods in the midst and um, they began to bow down so i thank the lord because the truth is this i didn't plan today to go for a walk in the woods because i am very much busy i'm i'm packing you know because i'm moving and all of that so i had not the time but suddenly i began to get up and i said i need to get some fresh air i need to get out of here so um, you see, it's very important to be led by the Holy Spirit and um, to act immediately on, upon that nudging, that, that leading of the Holy Spirit. So I pray that this helps you to get more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And I really went, I think, something like one and a half miles um, and all throughout that walking in the woods, I began to pray. I mean, very crazy. It it got crazy. I, I, I am grateful that there were no people in the woods because I believe they would call the ambulance for me. Like, this woman is crazy. She needs to go to the psychiatric something, you know, hospital. So I thank the Lord for that. But I really prayed. It was, it was crazy. I felt that presence of the Lord. And uh, I began to make declarations, which I did before, you know, but there was something heavy and while I was walking and, I, you know, I thought maybe this is just winter and it's normal, but there was no reason for the wood to be foggy. You know, there was such a heaviness, such a fogginess in the woods. And I began to make declarations and to clear the atmosphere, commanding those evil dark powers and, and, and clouds to be uplifted. And I began to untie people um, you know, in the spirit realm that they have been, uh, you know, tied in that woods, in that, you know, on the trees and so on and so forth. It was crazy. I can tell you it was very crazy. So it was for a reason why the Lord uh, suddenly, the Holy Spirit moved me to go for a walk because the, the whole atmosphere was heavy pregnant with witchcraft, with witchcraft. But please, I want to caution you, don't do this on your own, except you are led by the Holy Spirit, except you are strong enough in the Holy Spirit and you are authorized. Because if you do such a thing on your own, you cannot stand those evil powers. They will fight you. They will come against you. So please don't do it. If the Lord don't tell you, don't do it, please, because it's very dangerous. So this evil spirits had to bow to my prayer, to my word, at the mention of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because he has sent me. But if he has not sent you, please don't do it. So I thank the Lord. Like I said, I made declarations, setting people free and all of that. And I began to command that atmosphere to be shifted. And suddenly the whole, whole wood, the whole forest began to clear up, you know, because it looked like a dark season, you know, like those dark, foggy winter days. 
of darkness, but it was not no reason, no purpose, no nothing for be that kind of heavy pregnant with fogginess, you know, and darkness. And suddenly I began to see that atmosphere began to clear, that fogginess being uplifted. It was really amazing. So please be attentive to the Holy Spirit and um, act immediately based on how the Holy Spirit leads you.